Join us as we continue exploring the greatest truck engines ever built, showcasing their unmatched durability, innovation, and the stories behind their success. Toyota 5 VZFE 3.4 liter V6. Introduced in 1995, the Toyota 5 VZFE 3.4 liter V6 was a significant evolution over its predecessor, the 3 liter 3 VZ engine which powered Toyota's trucks and SUVs throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s. The 5 VZFE, with its increased displacement and improved engineering, was designed to meet the growing demands for more power and efficiency in vehicles like the Toyota Tacoma and 4Runner. It was also built to handle the increasing popularity of off-road and towing applications, which required a more robust and powerful engine. One of the most significant upgrades in the 5 VZFE was the introduction of a more advanced sequential multiport fuel injection system, along with better thermal management and engine components to enhance reliability and longevity. The 5 VZFE is a 3.4 liter, naturally aspirated 60 degree V6 engine, utilizing an aluminum alloy block with aluminum 24 valve DOHC cylinder heads. This engine is equipped with Toyota's VVTI which adjusts the timing of the intake valves to optimize performance and efficiency across different engine speeds. In terms of power, the 5 VZFE delivers between 150 and 190 horsepower, depending on the vehicle it's installed in, and generates around 200 to 220 pound-feet of torque. The 5 VZFE earned a strong reputation in the aftermarket and tuning community, particularly among off-road enthusiasts. Popular upgrades for this engine include cold air intakes, performance exhaust systems, and aftermarket headers, all designed to increase airflow and enhance engine response, particularly at higher RPMs. Many owners also install upgraded cams and performance chips to maximize the engine's power output, making it even more capable in off-road situations. Many owners of vehicles with this engine report that it regularly reaches between 250,000 to 300,000 miles with proper maintenance. In fact, there are several documented cases of 5 VZFE engines in 4Runner models running well beyond 350,000 miles, thanks to the engine's solid construction and Toyota's reputation for longevity. Despite its strong performance, the 5 VZFE was not without its issues. Some common problems with this engine include oil leaks, particularly from the valve cover gaskets, and issues with the timing chain tensioner. Some owners also experienced issues with the fuel injectors clogging or failing, though this was usually a result of poor maintenance or low-quality fuel. Additionally, the engine's intake manifold gasket could develop leaks over time, leading to rough idling or a noticeable drop in power. The 5VZ FE was eventually phased out in 2004, replaced by the more powerful and fuel-efficient 4.0-liter V6 engines found in the Toyota Tacoma and 4Runner. Toyota 2 UZFE engine debuted in 1998 as part of Toyota's UZ engine family, designed to prioritize durability and smoothness for heavy-duty and luxury applications. The 2 UZFE is a 4.7-liter V8 with a naturally aspirated design, featuring a double overhead camshaft configuration and 32 valves. The engine utilizes Toyota's variable valve timing with intelligence in later iterations, boosting efficiency and power. Its head is made from aluminum, while the block is constructed from cast iron for added strength. This belt-timed engine delivers a power output ranging from 230 to 282 horsepower and torque from 302 to 325 pound-feet, depending on the model year and application. This engine became a favorite among tuners, particularly for its capacity to handle forced induction setups, such as turbocharging or supercharging, without significant internal modifications. The 2U ZFE is best known for its use in trucks such as 2000 to 2006 Toyota Tundra, 1998 to 2007 Land Cruiser, and the Toyota Sequoia. Proven mileage of over 500,000 miles has been reported by dedicated owners, solidifying its reputation as one of the most reliable V8s ever produced. Toyota 5.7 liter iForce V8. The Toyota 5.7-liter iForce V8 debuted in 2007 as part of Toyota's effort to enter the competitive full-size truck market with a more powerful and robust engine succeeding Toyota's smaller V8 offerings, such as the 4.7-liter 2U ZFE. The 5.7-liter iForce V8 introduced dual independent variable valve timing, 
a higher compression ratio, and a robust design aimed at heavy-duty applications. It uses natural aspiration and features electronic fuel injection. The engine has 32 valves operated viaduct a double overhead camshaft arrangement with dual VVTI for optimal power and efficiency. Its head and block are made of aluminum, reducing weight while maintaining strength. The power output for the 5.7-liter iForce V8 ranges from 381 to 386 horsepower. In the aftermarket and tuning community, this engine is respected for its ability to handle significant upgrades, particularly for supercharging or improving air intake and exhaust systems, which can increase both horsepower and torque substantially. The 5.7-liter iForce V8 is widely known for its performance in Toyota trucks. Reports of 500,000 miles or more are not uncommon, with owners lauding the engine's longevity and Toyota's robust engineering. Despite its impressive reliability, the engine is not without issues. Some owners have reported excessive oil consumption, which Toyota addressed with technical service bulletins. Additionally, early models experienced secondary air injection pump failures, which led to reduced performance and a check engine light. Toyota replaced the 5.7-liter iForce V8 with the 3.4-liter twin-turbocharged V6 in its 2022 model year's trucks to align with industry trends and meet stricter emissions regulations and fuel efficiency demands. Chrysler 225 Slant 6 The Chrysler 225 Slant 6 debuted in 1960 as part of Chrysler's innovative effort to create a rugged, efficient, and compact inline-six engine that could outperform the aging flathead inline-six it replaced. By tilting the engine block 30 degrees to one side, the engineers achieved a slanted configuration that not only allowed for a lower hood line in vehicles, but also created space for larger intake and exhaust manifolds, improving both power delivery and fuel economy. This unique slant design was a groundbreaking move and gave the engine its iconic name. The 225 Slant 6 features a 3.7-liter displacement, with six cylinders arranged in an inline configuration. The engine has a cast-iron block and head, with two valves per cylinder operating via an overhead valve arrangement. In terms of power, the 225 Slant 6 produces between 105 and 145 horsepower and 170 to 215 pound-feet of torque, depending on the model year and application. The 225 Slant 6 is a favorite among tuners, who often upgrade the carburetors, camshafts, and exhaust systems to unlock additional power. This engine became synonymous with durability in several Dodge trucks, including the Dodge D100 and D150 produced in the 60s and 70s. Mopar 318 and Mopar 360 The Mopar 318 and Mopar 360 are two of Chrysler's most iconic small-block engines, embodying durability, versatility, and innovation. Introduced in 1967 as part of Chrysler's LA engine family, the 318 was a response to the changing automotive landscape. It succeeded the A-Series Polysphere V8 engines, which were reliable but lacked the compact design and efficiency needed for newer vehicles. The Mopar 360 followed in 1971, building on the 318's success by offering a larger displacement and increased power output catering to heavier trucks and performance applications. The Mopar 318 and 360 shared key design elements, including a V8 configuration, cast iron block, and heads for durability, and a naturally aspirated design that initially relied on carburetors before transitioning to throttle body injection in the 1980s for improved efficiency and emissions compliance. Both engines found widespread use in Chrysler's trucks, with the 318 powering full-size models like the Dodge D100 and D150 and mid-size SUVs like the Dodge Ram Charger. Proven to exceed 500,000 miles with proper care, the 318 earned a reputation as a high-mileage workhorse. The 360, on the other hand, excelled in heavy-duty applications, powering trucks like the Dodge Ram 2500 and serving in industrial roles such as generators and marine equipment. Both engines have their share of common issues, including valve cover gasket leaks, timing chain wear, and occasional oil consumption, particularly in the 360 due to valve seal wear. Earlier carbureted models sometimes faced fuel delivery inconsistencies. Both engines were phased out in the early 1990s, replaced by the Magnum 5.2-liter and 5.9-liter V8. 
These successors introduced modern multi-point fuel injection and improved cylinder head designs to meet stricter emission standards while maintaining the core strengths of the LA engine family. Today, the Mopar 318 and 360 remain celebrated in the restoration and enthusiast communities, standing as testaments to Chrysler's engineering excellence and the enduring appeal of simple, reliable power. 5.9 liter and 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. The 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel debuted in 1989, transforming Dodge trucks into serious competitors in the diesel market. Replacing naturally aspirated gasoline engines in Dodge's full-size lineup, this inline-six diesel introduced turbocharging and direct injection, boosting power, torque, and fuel efficiency while ensuring remarkable durability. Its 5.9-liter displacement, cast iron block and head, and gear-driven timing made it exceptionally reliable. Early models used a Bosch VE rotary pump, transitioning to the more advanced P7100 pump in 1994. This engine became a favorite in Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks, known for durability and torque. Owners have reported mileages exceeding 1 million with proper maintenance, cementing its reputation as one of the most durable truck engines. In mid-1998, Cummins introduced a 24-valve version with a high-pressure VP44 injection pump, and in 2003, the engine adopted high-pressure common rail fuel injection for cleaner emissions, smoother operation, and better performance. The 5.9-liter was also a favorite among tuners for its robust construction and high torque. Upgrades like larger turbochargers and injectors allowed enthusiasts to achieve over 1,000 horsepower. However, it had issues, including VP44 pump failures due to inadequate lift pump support, injector problems, and the infamous killer dowel pin, which could cause catastrophic engine damage if dislodged. In 2007, it was replaced by the 6.7-liter Cummins turbo diesel, designed to meet stricter emissions standards. Retaining the inline-six design and cast-iron construction, the 6.7-liter introduced variable geometry turbocharging and EGR, with power outputs from 350 to over 400 horsepower and torque exceeding 1,000 pound-feet. This engine became dominant in the Dodge Ram 2500, 3500, and 4500 models, and was also used in generators, boats, and industrial equipment. Though reliable, the 6.7 liter faced issues with emissions components like EGR clogging, DPF failures, and SCR system problems, leading to costly repairs. Cummins has addressed these through recalls and technical service bulletins, preserving its strong reputation in the heavy-duty truck market. Nissan VQ40 DE V6. The Nissan VQ40 DE, introduced in 2005, represents a robust evolution of Nissan's acclaimed VQ engine family. The engine introduced a higher capacity and revised internals over its predecessor, the VQ35 DE, ensuring better performance under heavy loads without sacrificing the durability for which the VQ series was known. At its core, the VQ40 DE is a 4-liter V6 engine with a naturally aspirated design. The engine features an aluminum block and aluminum heads, keeping weight manageable despite its larger size. It employs a dual overhead camshaft setup with four valves per cylinder and Nissan's continuous variable valve timing control system, CVTCS, enhancing both power delivery and efficiency. Power output ranges from 261 to 275 horsepower, while torque figures reach up to 288 pound-feet, depending on the application. The VQ40DE gained significant popularity among tuners for its rugged construction and tuning potential. Enthusiasts often upgraded intake and exhaust systems or added forced induction to extract more power, making it a capable choice for off-road and performance builds. This engine is best known for powering Nissan's mid-sized trucks and SUVs, including 2005 to 2020 Nissan Frontier, 2005 to 2015 Nissan Xterra, and 2005 to 2012 Nissan Pathfinder. Proven mileage reports frequently exceed 250,000 miles, with some owners documenting over 300,000 miles, underscoring its long-lasting nature. Common issues include radiator failures leading to transmission contamination, a problem known as the strawberry milkshake of death, and valve cover gasket leaks. The Nissan 5.6-liter V8, known as the Endurance V8, debuted in 2004 as part of Nissan's VK engine family. 
This naturally aspirated V8 engine features an aluminum block and heads, making it relatively lightweight for its size. The engine uses DOHC with four valves per cylinder and incorporates Nissan's CVTCS, which optimizes performance and efficiency across the rev range. Depending on the version and application, the VK56 produces between 317 and 400 horsepower, with torque ranging from 385 to 413 pound-feet. The Endurance V8 has gained respect in the aftermarket tuning community due to its sturdy construction and ability to handle forced induction. Enthusiasts frequently upgrade the intake, exhaust, and ECU to extract additional power, with supercharger kits yielding impressive results. The VK56 is most commonly associated with Nissan's full-size and heavy-duty trucks, including the present Nissan Titan and Nissan Armada SUV. It has also been used in the Nissan Heavy Duty Van and the current International Patrol Y62. Owners have frequently reported mileage exceeding 300,000 miles, with some examples even surpassing 500,000 miles with routine maintenance, making it a long-lasting workhorse. Over its lifespan, the VK56 has undergone significant updates. The original VK56DE was later replaced by the VK56VD, which introduced direct fuel injection for improved power and efficiency. This version also included a higher compression ratio and enhanced valve timing technology. The VK56 has also been adapted for motorsport, powering racing versions of the Nissan Titan and Nissan Patrol. A notable achievement occurred when a specially modified patrol with the VK56 engine set a Guinness World Record in 2013 by towing the world's heaviest airplane, a feat that demonstrated the engine's incredible strength. Common problems include exhaust manifold cracks, which can cause ticking noises and reduced performance, and premature failure of the secondary timing chain tensioners in earlier models. Honda 3.5 liter V6. The Honda 3.5-liter V6 engine, also known as the J35, debuted in 1996, building upon the foundation laid by its predecessor, the 3.0-liter V6. This naturally aspirated V6 engine features a displacement of 3.5 liters, an aluminum block, and aluminum heads for reduced weight. It uses a single overhead camshaft design with four valves per cylinder and Honda's VTEC technology. Later versions also introduced Honda's Variable Cylinder Management, VCM, which deactivates cylinders under light loads to improve fuel economy. The timing system is belt-driven, a design choice emphasizing quiet operation and ease of maintenance. The engine produces between 210 and 290 horsepower, with torque ranging from 220 to 267 pound-feet, depending on the specific model and year. The J35 has become a favorite in the aftermarket tuning community, especially for enthusiasts upgrading intake and exhaust systems or adding forced induction to significantly boost power. Its robust design and high potential for tuning have made it a versatile platform for performance modifications. The engine is well known for powering several Honda and Acura trucks, including the Honda Ridgeline and the Acura MDX. Owners frequently report these engines achieving well over 300,000 miles with proper maintenance, with some examples exceeding 500,000 miles, a testament to their exceptional durability. Despite its stellar reputation, the J35 has faced some issues over the years. Early models with VCM technology experienced problems with excessive oil consumption, which Honda addressed through software updates and design changes. Some owners have also reported issues with timing belt tensioners, though these are relatively rare. The engine has been subject to a few recalls and technical service bulletins.